I'm Games to 522 and I'm currently playing Pokemon Ruby version. And ha and here we are at the first gym. Now, as you can see, this is my party right now. I'm only gonna worry about the top three, of course. Even though I don't even think I'll use all of them. Cause I think my grow vial is all I need. Okay. Just take a browse of my stuff there. I'm actually recording my voice after I did this, but anyway. Okay. Hello, I am Roxanne, the Rust Road Pokemon Gym Leader. I became a gym leader, so I may apply what I've learned at the Pokemon Trainer School in battle. Would you kindly demonstrate how you battle, and with which Pokemon? And here we go! Gym Leader number one, Roxanne, the Rock-type user. Now she starts off with a little 14 Geodude, nothing too... evil. Or misleading or anything. Anyway. Okay, that move right there, Rock Tomb, that, that move can get really annoying because not only does it hurt you quite a decent amount, but it lowers your, it has a really good chance of lowering your speed. Is I don't really know if it's guaranteed. But it's got a critical on that Geodude there. Anyway. Okay, the next Pokemon she's going to send out it's a Pokemon called Nose Pass. Now, here's some advice. If you did not start with Trico or Mudkip, don't friggin' underestimate this thing. I'm, I know it may look weird right now, but don't underestimate this thing. This thing will, will, will friggin' defeat you if it has the opportunity. This thing just has ridiculous defense. See that? And what else is worse is that it knows Rock too, which can get really, really annoying. Yeah. Okay. But, oh yeah, and there's one more thing. There's one more thing I'm, that I'm also going to throw out there. Um, the gym leader has two potions, and as you can see, when its Pokemon's uh, life is low enough, like, I think it's about, like, a fifth or so. Then they use their recovery items. And it also knows Rock Throw. I think this Nose Pass knows Harden, Rock Throw, Rock Tomb. I can't remember what the fourth attack was. Yeah, I was, I was like, oh, wow, I didn't know she had two potions. But anyway, this fight isn't as bad as it looks because I have a girl vial on my team, but if you had a Trico, then this fight would actually be pretty challenging. And I was still surprised that it still did not faint from me, even though how low, it, how low its life is. So I survived that, do absorb. Bam, off goes with the nose pass. Wow, that's a lot of VXP. There we go. We defeated Roxanne, so I lost. It seems that I still have much more to learn. I understand. The Pokemon League rules state that the trainers are be given this they defeat a gym leader. Please accept the official stone badge. Keith received the stone stone badge from Roxanne. The stone badge heightens the attacks of Pokemon. And it also allows you to use cut outside of battle. Take this with you. And she gives you TM39, which is, should be your first TM. And it is Rock Tomb. Not only does it inflict damage by dropping boulders at lower speed, a TM can only be used once, so choose wisely. So basically, you gain a move that she uses. She gives you a TM for a move that you use. Okay, I'm just gonna, since I'm able to use cut now, like to cut down trees, I'm just gonna teach it to my slack off right there. And that pretty much sums it up for this video. Now, just gonna pause it, and then look at my trainer's card. One down, seven to go. Alright, so I will see you guys in the next part where we continue our journey through the Hoenn region. We have seven gym leaders left. Who could they be?